Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and today I'm bringing you to the beautiful paradise Maldives. We're going to do a 10 minute full body workout right here next to the Indian Ocean. I want you to really focus at the present moment. Listen to the relaxing sounds of the waves and prepare your mind and body for today's workout. We will do 10 exercises in total. Each one is 45 seconds and rest for 15 seconds. Now, are you ready? Grab a mat and follow me. Let's start. It's super sunny here and I can't really open my eyes properly, but I love it. Let's go. First one is jumping jack to wake up our body, warm up our hip and shoulder joints to prepare the body for more challenging exercise coming up. If you have weak knees, you can do it slower and one leg at a time. Keep breathing, keep jumping. Keep your legs wide, arms high. Ten seconds. When I jump, I can feel the fat on my body bouncing up and down which makes me want to jump even faster so that I can get rid of all the fat. Just some silly thoughts <laughs> whenever I jump. Anyway, last five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Next is squat. Both legs stand hip width apart and you should always align your hip joints above your knee and above your ankle both sides. Now ready, start. When we squat down, we want to see our butts as low as possible and squeeze our glutes when we stand up. The arms movement is just to help you balance. So one thing I want you to pay attention to is when you squat down, try to shift the majority of your body weight to your heels and you can lift your toes off the mat. That way you are really training your glute and thighs uh, without putting too much pressure on your knees. Squat is one of my favorite exercises and if you want a perky butt, you should really do it every day. Now last five, four, three, two and rest. The third exercise is butt ups. Don't start yet, take your rest. When we'll start in elbow plank position, remember always align your shoulder joint above your elbow. Now start. Lift your butt high to the sky, really lengthen your spine. Then back to plank position, keep your core tight and lower your hip. Squeeze your glutes. And repeat. This is a really good exercise to strengthen your upper body and shoulders as well as your core, abs and glutes. Keep going, lower your hip all the way down to plank. Don't cheat, okay? You can do it. We're almost done here. Last 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2 and 1. Rest. Next is swimming. We lie down on our tummies, spreading our arms and legs in opposite direction, shoulder and hip width apart. We inhale and lift our chest, arms and legs off the mat. Ready? Start swimming. Alternating arm and leg movements. Your eyes should look at the edge of your mat. Lengthen your neck. Remember to suck your belly button in to engage your core. Keep your torso stable, only your limbs are moving. This is a really good extension exercise to tone our entire back muscles, including your hamstrings and glutes. Also improve our posture and get that beautiful swan neck. Last 10 seconds left. Swim even faster. Imagine there's a shark behind you. Last 3, 2 and rest. The fifth exercise is leg crunches with chest lift. Now we lie down on our back. I have to put on the sunglasses as it's way too bright. Now interlace our fingers, inhale and lift our chest up, legs in tabletop position. Now start the leg crunches. 
We inhale when legs in, exhale when legs out. Remember always exhale when you are doing something difficult. It helps you engage the core. Don't drop your chest. Keep the tips of your shoulder blades off the mat. Now lengthen and bend. Lengthen and bend. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're almost done here. This is the best way to train our core, our abs. Six packs is coming. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job, guys. We are halfway through. Next is cardio exercise row and jump. So we lift the butt off the mat and roll onto our shoulders and roll back up. Place our feet on the ground and jump as high as you can. Now, let's go. If you have weak knees, you can use your hands to help you stand up without jumping. Then squat down and roll again. Remember when you roll, don't roll onto your neck and your head to avoid injuries. Keep up the pace. Really try to do it as fast as you can, as many times as you can. Really push yourself. We're almost done here. Keep going, keep going, jump higher. We are at our last five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Well done, guys. Next is sumo squat. We stand up and spread our legs wider than hip width apart. We will be working on our entire leg muscles, especially the inner thighs and glutes. Ready? Go! We squat down as low as we can, really working the inner thighs. Then squeeze our glutes when we come up. Squat and squeeze. Squat and squeeze. Keep doing it. Remember to keep breathing. I like to inhale when I squat down and exhale when I stand up. But you can do it the other way around as long as you feel comfortable. We're almost done here, only 10 seconds left. After this, we only have three to go. Keep going, push it through, you can do it. And rest. Next exercise, we will get into a high plank position first, then touch toes or ankle of one side with the opposite hand, alternating between left and right. Ready? Let's go! After you touch your foot, remember to push your butt down to a proper plank before you switch to the other side. So we can really work on our core, upper body and shoulder strength. How are you doing? Are you feeling the burn and sweating? It is so sunny here and I'm telling you, I'm sweating like raining. This workout is super effective and I guarantee you will see the result in no time. Here we are, last five, four, three, two, and one rest. Yay, we're down to the last two exercises. Next is crisscross. So let's turn around and lie down on our back. Now we interlace our fingers and support the head. Inhale and get into chest lift position. Exhale, we twist to one side. Inhale to the center, exhale to the other side. I want you to really twist from your upper back, your chest area, and keep your waist and lumbar spine stable on the mat. I gaze following your armpit. Always remember to breathe. Inhale to the center, exhale to the side. This is the best exercise for your obliques and your core. If you want to get that firm abs lines outside your six packs, this is the one to go. And here we are, last five, four, three, hang there, one and rest. Now we are down to the last one, mountain climber. First, we raise ourselves up to high plank position. Remember to always align your wrist, elbow, and shoulder joints. 
Ready? Let's run! Reach your knee to your chest as close as you can and run as fast as you can. I want you to really push yourself. Give it all you've got. And let's finish this workout fabulously. Keep running, push it through, run faster and faster. We are almost done. And last 10, 9, push it, push it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Well done, guys. Such a great job. I hope you liked this workout and got your sweat today. Do the entire workout twice a day at least three times a week to get the best results. Before you go, I want you to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I will be posting workout video every week. I wish you a good day, good health and good life. See you next week!